Welcome to our discussion on driving IT efficiency with automation and digital insights. I'm Smith Gupta, Senior Director of Product Marketing for Cisco Customer Experience. Today, I have with me Chris Dexter to discuss how he and his team are reimagining technical support. Welcome, Chris. Hi, Smith. Nice to be here today. So before we dive into the main discussion, why don't you tell us a bit about your role at Cisco and about your organization? Sure. I'm Vice President of Strategy and Innovation for our industry-leading Technical Assistance Center, otherwise known as TAC. We have a great team and our engineers provide world-class support for our customers 24 by 7. I know you have spent a lot of time reimagining technical support. Uh, I suppose it's about leveraging automation and digital insights? That's right, but it's a strategy that has many different aspects. We have over 16 million support interactions with our customers every year, of which about 85% result in the customer independently finding the answer to their problem. We call this self-service and we want to continue to grow this percentage as we know that customers are happiest when they can quickly find an answer to their problems without needing to raise a support case. So the journey begins with digitizing the knowledge and insights of our expert engineers. We use an open source model where everyone contributes to codifying our collective knowledge. And today we have over 100,000 digital artifacts in use daily. And through connected products, we can insert these digital insights directly into your environment. This could be through a traditional on-prem model or controller integration, or now through CS Cloud, the new way of connecting with customer experience. So alongside this, we've created automated workflows that improve self-service and reduce your time to final resolution. These are all available on our support portal. Examples include Tap Connect Bot for interacting with your engineer, guided workflows for fault isolation, proactive alerts that inform you of things like critical bugs or field notices, and finally, our virtual TAC engineer who can personally guide you through a live case or an RMA. So you are taking the knowledge that's in the heads of our engineers, digitizing it, codifying it, and then combining it with telemetry, AI, ML, and automation to put the power directly into the hands of customer. That's exactly right. And we even have the capability to initiate and deliver zero-touch RMAs, which are fully automated from start to finish. I imagine that leaves more time with our engineers to work on more complex problems with our customers. That's true. And uh, we do offer customers a choice for a more premium and personalized experience, especially if they have a more complex environment. So now I know that we have a very high customer satisfaction when it comes to support services. And it's really difficult to push the envelope when the customer satisfaction is that high. What are you seeing in terms of customer satisfaction trends with this approach? You're right, we do have excellent customer satisfaction results and we're very proud of that. And that's because of our great support engineers. But in addition, when we use these techniques like automation, bots and guided workflows, we see our customer satisfaction increase by five percentage points. And that's because the outcomes are derived from the codified knowledge of our engineers. And and this helps us solve problems even faster. Shifting gears a bit, Today, everyone in the industry is talking about this notion of moving from reactive to proactive support. I'm curious to know how this approach fits into that notion. Sure, and actually we want our engineers to deliver the optimum customer experience and this transition from reactive to proactive to predictive is is a key part of that. So for example, we use augmented analysis to find the right answer or the next best action. And each year we analyze over 3 million files and attachments using 100 different product specific gateways, all powered by our digitized intellectual capital. We're also looking at uh, machine learning techniques relating to anomaly detection and prediction that can find the root cause fast and prevent failure. This could be for software log file analysis, which processes real-time streaming data, or even hardware failure prediction, where we are using silicon-based sensors to reduce mean time between failure. And finally, TAC is very data rich. And through deep data analysis, we can really help our engineering teams build better products and identify recurring issues using techniques like uh, machine learning fingerprinting. We're also using that rich data co- to continuously monitor the status of TAC cases, which helps us provide proactive guidance to our engineers and help them really achieve the best results for our customers. 
That's fascinating, Chris. So what are some of the customer outcomes that uh, you are seeing today? Well, one thing that's, that's clear is that all these innovations are helping to accelerate real-time value. So by combining human and digital intelligence, our customers have the opportunity to accelerate their own transformation. And these are also available through digitized health checks, which can be used by customers to check for potential known issues. And all these techniques produce tangible benefits, which we can explicitly measure. For example, we know that TAC Connect bots can help lower mean time to resolution by up to 50%. Our virtual TAC engineer can reduce case ownership time from hours to minutes. RMA automation can save up to 80 hours from start to finish. And, and finally, our digitized health checks can save up to eight hours of effort analyzing configurations. So you talked about using our intellectual capital to make health checks more efficient. Could you talk to us a bit about what are the kind of use cases that are available today? Of course, well, automated health checks are based on the diagnostic insights we just talked about, and they're available for security, intent-based networking, and data center products. Customers can request one through their Cisco account team, via CX Cloud, or even via a, a digital email journey. All right, Chris. So we are towards the end of our discussion today. Any parting words? Thanks, Smith. Well, I guess I'd like to close by saying that delivering exceptional customer experience is our number one mission. And combined with our brilliant engineers, innovations like these are why JD Power has recognized Cisco TAC for an outstanding customer experience 12 years in a row. It's something we're all very proud of. Thank you, Chris, and thank you all for attending. I'm sure many of you are already part of Cisco support community. Check back regularly to see how we continue to simplify, automate, and reimagine support experience.